Hello and welcome to this comprehensive training session on Epithalon, a peptide known for its role in cellular health, anti-aging, and telomere maintenance. In this session, we will cover the mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations for using Epithalon. Additionally, we will review three clinical case studies and discuss recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's begin. Epithalon, also known as epitalon or epithalamin, is a synthetic tetrapeptide composed of four amino acids, alanine, glutamic acid, aspartic acid, and glycine. It is derived from the naturally occurring peptide epithalamin, produced in the pineal gland. Epithalon has gained attention for its ability to extend cellular lifespan, promote telomere elongation, and regulate the function of the pineal gland. By influencing melatonin production, it can also help normalize circadian rhythms and improve sleep quality. Epithalon is widely studied in anti-aging medicine and integrative practices due to its potential to improve longevity, reduce oxidative stress, and support immune function. While it is not FDA-approved, clinical and experimental data suggest promising results for its role in cellular health and aging. Epithalon works through several key mechanisms. Telomerase activation. Epithalon activates the enzyme telomerase, which promotes the elongation of telomeres. Telomeres are protective structures at the ends of chromosomes that shorten with each cell division, leading to cellular aging and dysfunction. By maintaining telomere length, epithalon helps delay cellular senescence and supports tissue regeneration. Pineal gland regulation. It restores the natural production of melatonin in the pineal gland, improving circadian rhythms and sleep quality. Melatonin also acts as a potent antioxidant, reducing oxidative stress. Antioxidant properties. Epithalon reduces free radical production and oxidative damage, protecting DNA and cellular structures. Immune system modulation. By supporting telomere integrity and melatonin regulation, epithalon enhances immune resilience and overall systemic function. These mechanisms make epithalon a powerful peptide for cellular rejuvenation and longevity. Epithalon has demonstrated a wide range of clinical benefits, particularly in anti-aging medicine and cellular health. Key applications include longevity and anti-aging, delays cellular aging by maintaining telomere length, improves tissue regeneration and mitochondrial function, sleep disorders, normalizes melatonin levels to improve sleep quality, particularly in older adults, chronic fatigue and immune support, enhances energy production and immune system function, hormonal regulation, supports pineal gland function, improving hormonal balance and circadian rhythm regulation. Neuroprotection protects neurons from oxidative damage, improving cognitive function and reducing neurodegeneration risks. Cancer adjunctive therapy. By modulating cell division and immune function, epithalon may support cancer prevention or adjunctive care in patients undergoing treatment. Benefits. The potential benefits of epithalon include improved longevity through telomere elongation and cellular protection. Enhance sleep quality by normalizing melatonin production. Reduced oxidative stress, leading to better mitochondrial and tissue health. Improved immune system resilience and energy levels. Neuroprotective effects that may help maintain cognitive function and reduce neurodegeneration. Patients often report improved sleep, increased energy, and enhanced physical and mental performance after treatment with epithalon. Risks. Epithalon has a strong safety profile with few reported side effects. However, potential risks include mild fatigue or dizziness, particularly after the first few injections, rare injection site reactions such as mild redness or irritation, hypothetical risks due to the lack of long-term human studies. Careful monitoring and patient education can help minimize these risks. Alternatives. Alternative therapies to epithalon for similar clinical goals include for anti-aging and telomere support, lifestyle modifications, resveratrol, nicotinamide riboside, or TA65. For sleep improvement, melatonin supplementation or light therapy. For oxidative stress reduction, antioxidants such as glutathione, coenzyme Q10, and vitamin C. For immune support, thymosin alpha-1 or lifestyle interventions like intermittent fasting. Epithalon is typically administered via subcutaneous injection. Standard protocol, dose, 5 to 10 milligrams per day, 
divided into two doses administered subcutaneously. Duration, 10 to 20 days per treatment cycle. Maintenance protocol, repeat the cycle every four to six months for optimal longevity benefits. Alternative administration, Epithalon can also be administered orally, although subcutaneous administration remains more effective due to higher bioavailability. To guide treatment and monitor progress, the following laboratory tests are recommended. Baseline testing, comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP, complete blood count, CBC, sleep study, if applicable, anti-aging markers, telomere length testing, optional but useful for tracking progress, inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein, CRP, monitoring, assess improvements in energy, sleep, and cognitive function through patient-reported outcomes. Periodic testing of telomere length can provide objective data on cellular health. Case study one, sleep disorders in an older adult. A 65-year-old male presents with chronic insomnia and fatigue. He has low melatonin levels confirmed through lab testing. Treatment protocol, epithalon, 5 mg subcutaneously twice daily for 10 days. Outcome, the patient reported improved sleep onset, deeper sleep quality, and increased energy levels within two weeks. Follow-up melatonin testing showed improved levels. Case study two, telomere support in a high-performing professional. A 45-year-old female executive presents for anti-aging therapy to optimize longevity and prevent cellular aging. Telomere testing shows shorter than average telomere length for her age. Treatment protocol, epithalon, 10 mg daily for 20 days, repeated every six months. Outcome, telomere length improved after one year of treatment, and the patient reported enhanced energy, cognitive clarity, and overall well-being. Case study, three, chronic fatigue syndrome with poor sleep. A 38-year-old female with chronic fatigue syndrome reports persistent low energy, non-restorative sleep, and frequent infections. Treatment protocol, epithalon, 5 mg subcutaneously twice daily for 10 days. Outcome, by week three, the patient experienced improved energy levels, deeper sleep, and fewer symptoms of fatigue. Immune markers showed reduced inflammation. In summary, epithalon is a powerful peptide with significant potential for promoting cellular health, longevity, and sleep regulation. By activating telomerase, reducing oxidative stress, and improving pineal gland function, it offers a unique approach to anti-aging and overall wellness. Epithalon has a favorable safety profile, but careful patient selection, appropriate monitoring, and adherence to treatment protocols are essential for optimal outcome. Want to introduce peptide therapy to your patients? Get certified with our free course at freepeptidetraining.com.